Okay, so I wanted to do a couple of videos, well, three basically, uh, basically saying what the state of the other expansions is after Pillar 2, uh, like how it affected, since, since it's the, the you know, very multi-expansion expansion, how it affected the other expansions, uh, and what's their status after. So I'll begin with Venus. Um, before we begin, no, uh, as you know, I did a poll on my channel, uh, because some people complained about the tags, <laughs> the flying tags on the background. Uh, I, I got like, like I've basically never heard anyone mention anything about them. And then in like two weeks, I got like three comments or four even saying that they were annoying as hell. Um, and so I did a poll and the results are that uh, average. <laughs> um, so yeah, 34 people answered, which is, you know, more than uh, your average municipal election, so not bad. And, uh, yeah, 21% said they loved the tax. Uh, 32 said they didn't care, 32 that they were a little annoying but terrible, and 15% that they hated them. Uh, so, you know, maybe not enough to remove them, <laughs> really <laughs> mixed results, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna keep him. I might slow them down, see if that works, but not for this video, because I'm. Uh, I, I, it's it's a pain in the ass. That that, that took like a week to make, so it, it would require much much more on the hate them boat to remove them. Uh, but anyway, on to the video. So let's talk about Venus. So first, let's talk about the problem with Venus, because Venus is the one of the three expansions that I actually think has some design problems. So let's talk about those problems. The first problem is that it's a completely optional part of the game. Um, well, they're all technically optional, but Venus is optional and also completely isolated, right? So, uh, like, technically you, you might not use colonies, that's optional, but it's also good, right? Uh, and, and even the turmoil, the Senate, the events are an option. But in Venus, uh, yeah, it's completely optional. You can have a full game and not touch Venus, right? And it, it can be a good game. So that's one thing, it's optional. Two, um, it's completely isolated, so you're either doing Venus or you're not. Whereas colonies and turmoil, whatever strategy you're doing, they fit into it, right? It's plants, engine, whatever, science. You could always feed whatever strategy you're doing to like turmoil and colonies, and you should because they're powerful. And then uh, the third thing is that it's actually underpowered, so it's like basically in your best interest to ignore it, um, uh, because it's like there's really not a lot. But like the the standard pop pride, for example, is super expensive a lot of the cards that terraform venus like the floor cards that terraform venus constantly i have a video on that uh you know they, they're really bad and so um yeah it's it's kind of underpowered and then the fact that there are only two corps and uh one of them is underpowered like celestic is a bit underpowered uh sorry there's three corps there's aphrodite which doesn't count and then there's celestic which is a bit underpowered um it works with floaters, uh, and uh, yeah, but it's not, it's not super good. Uh, the floaters got better with colonies, uh, but and then there's MSI, which if you get a couple of Venus cards in your hand and MSI, you can have a good game. But that's essentially if you're playing with all the expansions, that's the only way. And when I play with all the expansions, what I see consistently is no one touches Venus. Venus card in your hand, you just you know pass it. Um, because there's, that's the other thing, after Colonies added 50 cards, the deck got very diluted for Venus, right? Um, and the fact that there are, like, Prelude also added 35 Preludes, none of them has Venus. So, when Venus came out, it was a bit better, but then you have 35 Preludes that have nothing to do with Venus. Colonies added 50 cards that had nothing to do with Venus, except a few place floaters, but a lot of them do it on Jovian, so they don't even synergize and then there's the, you know that colony uh, is a titan uh, that helps a little and then turmoil the only thing it has related to venus is like tags in the uh unity party but that's it so uh that's the fourth problem it got diluted and it got like there's even more incentive to ignore it so i think venus needed the biggest fix 
Now let's see if this was addressed. Well, it was. <laughs> Um, let's see how well it was addressed. So first of all, we now have Venus preludes. We have uh, five preludes that are related to Venus. Um, which out of the... how many got added? 24, including the promos. 20, sorry, no, 29, including the promos. Uh, getting five, that's, you know, almost a six. A little over a six, which is like probably 18%. Um, and then that's, you know, <laughs> better than 0%. So that's good, <laughs> even though it's still low. It's going to be 40, I think 40 preludes plus 29. There's uh, it's almost 70 preludes, 69, and only 5 has Venus. But, you know, it's something. And then on the 24, card, 24 cards added, uh, and this doesn't include the promos. The promos actually don't have anything to do with the expansions, any of them. But the 24 cards added in the expansion... Um, there are seven that are all Venus, uh, three that are Venus in colonies, and one that is Venus in turmoil. So that's 11 out of 24. Uh, yeah, 11. That's a, a bit over 40%, almost 50. So that's good. I mean, that like, if you add almost 50% to a pool that's really low, uh, then that usually <laughs> improves the chances. But let's see how these cards and these preludes address the problems. So... One of the problems is that the deck is very diluted for the Venus player. Um, and I have to say they address that well by adding cards that draw Venus cards. Right? So, uh, Atmospheric Enhancers, the Prelude, and Planetary Alliance, and Venus Contract are all preludes that draw cards. Um, that are either Floaters or Venus. And then you have Ishtar Expedition and Stratophyte Expedition. Both very strong, especially Ishtar. Uh, because it pays back, and they both throw Venus decks, and then there's Venus Orbital Sorby. Now, this is not a, specifically a Venus card, because I think drawing two cards is always good, even you have to pay for them, but it's better with Venus, and it has a Venus deck, right? So, in, in terms of, like, giving the Venus player ways to find their diluted cards, they did. Um, now, it's still always going to be isolated, optional, so you can't really address that, but the fact that it's underpowered, uh, like if there's more players, uh, if there's good cards to terraform it, that makes it a bit less isolated. So I think terraforming uh, cards that terraform Venus are very important, especially on preloads. And we got three. We got, again, Atmospheric Enhancers. That's probably my favorite because it has the two steps and the draw cards. But Venus Ally Shade, a card that in my video... Uh, where I sort of predicted what I or, or stated what I wanted uh, for the expansion. I said I wanted uh, a three Venus step, and we got it. Uh, shame it doesn't have a tag. And then we have Giant Solar Collector. Uh, so the Prius did address it. We have three Prius that terraform Venus, three, two, and one steps. Giant Solar Collector, probably very good if you're doing Venus and colonies. Um, and then Venus Contract also gives you a rebate for terraforming, which, you know, that's related. That's also good. Um, so I think that was addressed pretty well. I think all of these pre preludes are actually good on value. Or they are above average value, right? So that's a good thing that Venus gets above average cards because they didn't have them. Planetary Alliance is the one prelude that I think maybe is a bit too weak. Um, but we'll see. Uh... And then, but more importantly, how does it, how did they address terraforming cards? So, Venus Shuttles, I think it's really important. Venus Shuttles, uh, so you get to pay 12 to terraform, and so you can do this each turn, you depend on floaters from other cards, you can just tap every turn and terraform. But that 12 is reduced by the number of Venus decks, so it's at worst 11. But if you're doing Venus, it's not rare to have 3-4 tags by the time you play this card. And if you're paying 8 to terraform, that's really good. 8 for a terraforming rating, it's really good. And you get 2 floors, which might, might not even use, and the price keeps going down. So, by Gen 5, if you play this early by Gen 5, you could be you know easily paying 6. By the end of the game, you could be free. Um, especially with the added Venus tags and preloads and everything, right? So that's... Um, what they did for terraforming, there's also this card, uh, Unexpected Application and Venus Allies. And, uh, unexpected Application is just a cheap, very good terraformer. Uh, you can see it as costing uh, 7 plus 
the card that you discard 10 but often you already have a card that you want to discard you can save this for later and it, you can save cost 8 because you would have sold that card uh, so it's a very cheap step and then Venus Allies which <coughs> Venus Allies which is the colonies uh, one of the colonies one um, so this gives you two steps, two points. So 34, four points would be decent at the end of the game. Well, probably under. But if you have just two colonies, then it's 22, right? So I, I wouldn't recommend playing this without colonies. It's basically two standard projects. This is about the standard projects because it, it has two points, so it's better than two standard projects. But with, with you know, two colonies, which you should have, then you're going to be good with that card. Um, okay, but let's talk about the other cards that I haven't talked about. So, um, well, there's a couple of weak ones. I think Cloud Tourism is uh, pretty weak. Um, I don't see them doing much. And I think Soil Studies is just maybe, you know, they're trying for Aphrodite. And this one is related to Colonists, but I don't think it matters. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a combination of like seven things. I don't like it. Um... But then, uh, Floating Refinery, that's just like a generic okay card. And let's talk about the two cards that I think make you want to play Venus more if you have the other two expansions, which is important. Now, I'm a little disappointed that it's only two, but um, these are basically cards with Venus tags as requirements that are very strong. So, Envoys from Venus places two Delegates, which for four... Uh, and consider that it's an event, so it could easily be, you know, just the price to buy the card and, and play it for free. It's a great deal. Just a great deal. Because uh, two delegates would n normally cost you 10. Um, and so three Venus stacks, it's only going to be available for a Venus player. So I think um, it's a really good advantage for the Venus player if, th if Thermal is played. And then similarly, Venus straight up. Uh, again, two Venus tax requirement, and whenever you gain trade, you gain three. This is amazing. Um, if you get this down early, and you usually trade every turn, even if you don't get a second fleet. Let's say you trade turn in the second generation, that's nine trades, that's 27, and you're getting a free point. So it's, it's a great rebate, uh, this Venus trade up. So these are two cards that I, this is what I want on cross expansion. Uh, I know Venus is only, like, it's not a, a relation, it's Venus is only, like, the requirement, but now the Venus player gets an advantage when playing Colonies and Tromo. So I think these are two great cross-expansion uh, cards. The other two, I'm not a huge fan, like, like I said, Venus allies, you just get a rebate for the Colonies, so it's kind of unplayable if you don't have Colonies, but it's, it's like, if, if this card costed 22 for that, I don't think it would be that different. Uh, you could have a third colony and it's cheaper, but you could also have space discount, so I, I'll get that into that in the colonies video. And then South Stories is just a Aphrodite, Venus plants mess, so... But yeah, so, final thoughts. Uh, Venus got better. Venus got definitely better. Is it playable in with all expansions? I still don't know, because it wasn't. It basically wasn't unless you drew MSI and a couple of Venus tags, which with the deck diluted was nearly impossible. But now, like, MSI in a prelude, that could be enough, right? Um, and, you know, if, if some of these cards, like the draw cards uh, that I mentioned, or the cross-expansion ones that I mentioned, you know, get people see them played, or Venus Shuttles, the Venus Shuttles is just something we needed to terraform Venus uh, in a better way. If we start seeing that those cards get more play, then people will be more incentivized to go for Venus. Because before it was like, okay, do I have a great Venus hand? No, then no. Like, <laughs> I'm not going with a okay Venus hand, right? So yeah, it got better. I think they addressed the two problems that they could address, which was the dilution of the deck and the underpowering. You can't really address the fact that it's isolated or the fact that it's optional without changing the rules. Uh, so overall, I think they did a pretty good job. I if I if I wanna be picky, I wish I got more cross expansion cards like Venus Straight Hope and then Voice of Venus. Because honestly, when you don't play with all expansions, 
Venus is more play. The play is really when you add colonies mostly. Uh, Termo to a lesser extent, but as soon as you start diluting that deck, then Venus doesn't see play. People focus on other things. And I would have liked to see more cards like Venus Trade Hub and Invoice from Venus, but other than that, good job. Like I said, four of the prelims I really like. Planetary Alliance, I'm just not sure. Chancellor Collector, it's sort of like, ha. Huh, it's weak unless you're playing with colonies, which is what I want them to address. What, what I wanted them to address. So, overall really good. But anyway, that's my thoughts. I think Venus got better. And it may be playable with all expansions. Okay. Anyway, that's all the video. Let me know what you think. And see you next time.